Now, as many of you might know or may not know, a lot of big companies are saying they're not going to run ads on Facebook. Some are saying it for a month, some others are saying for the rest of the year, why are they doing this? So one of the things that you may or may not know about Facebook is uh, Facebook is one of the biggest marketing platforms there is in order to, if you want to run ads, it has a lot of data on people. So a lot of marketing professionals use it in order to reach their target audiences. However, some huge companies, Verizon, Unilever, they said they're not going to run ads on Facebook. And the reason why they're doing this, and they're saying that is because Facebook has been known for not censoring anything. So as you know, as a lot of things are being revealed about what goes on in the US and in other places as well, especially in terms of racial dynamics, it's been seen that there has been a lot of hate speech on Facebook and other platforms toward the black population and towards many other populations. And Facebook has taken a stance that it's not going to police anything that's being said on its platform in regards to social etiquette. So these companies, in response to everything that's going on, they said, okay, you're not going to stop these types of things from being said on your platform. We are not going to put out ads on your platform. Therefore, we're not going to pay you advertising doubt. Once this happened, I think Facebook's shares dropped by 8%. Before Facebook was saying, no, we wouldn't change. This is our policy. We're not going to censor anything. We're going to let people speak their minds. But now they've done an about face and they said, yes, they're going to monitor and they're going to eliminate hate speech. They've even said to the point that they've spent a $1 billion or billions every year investing to make their community safer. I think that was the language. I don't know the exact language, but they said they've been already investing into things like this. So this is real interesting. You can see the power of advertising dollars. You can see the power of quote unquote Madison Avenue. Madison Avenue is what we advertisers call, or the world calls for advertising firms. So you see the power and how you can really get a company to change its policy really quick by saying you're not going to spend any more money with them. Uh, even if they're not committing to stop using the platform, saying a month to a year, and I think it was really when companies started saying, we're not coming back on your platform for the rest of the year. That's when Facebook and uh, executives and Facebook started taking this more seriously and realizing that we need to jump out of this. And actually, I don't think from a revenue standpoint, they are doing this because of the revenue from the big companies. Because while I said these companies are whales, Facebook's most of their marketing, most of their ad spend comes from small and medium sized businesses my clients and things like that. So our the people we bring on, the how much money we're spending, it's a lot of smaller companies that are advertising through Facebook because traditionally the larger companies, they're slower. They've been slower to use social media as advertising tools. They're still radio, they're still TV, they're still banner ads, things like that, SEO. However, they've been slower to adopt social media as one of their main advertising tools. So it doesn't affect them as much as you think they would. But I think they're seeing the, the way the current is going and trying to get on top and change so that they can, quote unquote, save face. And it, it's really interesting because you've, in past, Facebook has made several uh, mistakes, you would say, in terms of how they approach policies, how they built out platforms. So marketing, your product is part of marketing. Your product is part of marketing. So for example, Facebook was actually one of the slowest companies to mobile. Uh, to changing to cell phone use, they use very desktop. But they actually pivoted and they created a mobile platform, which may seem really easy now, but a few years ago, that was really difficult. And they switched to really embrace mobile. Now they've become a lot more friendly on mobile. Now, what's Facebook about? Because I know still some people don't use it as much as they used to. Now, Facebook has become a lot about groups, a lot about conversations around passion activities. So it is a space where people who feel very strongly about an issue one way or another tend to congregate and they tend to share and express themselves. And typically because Facebook is less about like external connections as it's been, it's been more people like connecting with their family or close friends on Facebook than just anybody. People tend to voice more of their opinion on Facebook because they feel more comfortable in terms of they're talking to their own audience and type of activities people do for Facebook leans more towards just speaking your mind and flowing. So people don't have that filter on Facebook that they traditionally have on, they may have on other platforms. So think of Facebook kind of like a Reddit 
that's a bit more personal, I guess you would say. I say personal because Reddit, you see screen names and things like that. So think of Facebook like that, okay? So this is what's going on. What do you think? Do you think Facebook should censor it? Uh, do you think Facebook shouldn't? Do you like how the large companies responded and said, we're not paying for this until we're not getting any more ads on your, for a month or a year or the rest of the year? Do you like how they respond? How they responded to Facebook? What do you think? What would you have done if you're Mark Zuckerberg, if you're Facebook? What would you have done if you own these companies? Are you going to advertise on Facebook? Please leave a comment below. I just did a video on why Kanye's partnership, the Yeezy partnership, with Gap is a terrible idea. That's right over here, so check that out. You can also check out a video that I did on paperclip advertising versus SEO, so you can check that out over here. And please subscribe to my channel. I post about marketing, branding, business advice from the lens of getting more customers, getting more clients, things like that. My name is Achimba Atande. I'm the CEO of Atande and Advisors, a branding and advertising firm based in New York. Hope you're doing well. Please subscribe and please like, comment, and share this video to let more people get in this conversation. I will be answering comments, so I look forward to reading whatever you write below. Have a great day.